hi hbn our families welcome back to the channel so in this video i'm going to show you how to cut your hoodies professionally but before we get started kindly subscribe to the channel just hit the subscribe button so in this video i use i make use of my head circumference to cut my hoodies neck because there is no actual neck measurement for hoodies and hoodies neck is usually bigger than every other neck if you don't make use of your head circumference and you're working on a material that is not stretchy so if you don't use your head circumference to cut your neck after the sewing it will never pass through your neck but with the use of your head circumference while putting it on it will pass through your head freely down to your neck area so just like get started don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell so that whenever I drop an amazing video like this, you get start, you get notified. It's Vienna. Thanks for watching. So I'm going to draw a straight line here. After drawing a straight line, I'm going to apply my length measurement which is 27 and i'm going to deduct 3 inches for the band so i'm going to mark 24 inches so i'm going to do the same here i'm going to connect the marked area together So the next thing is to mark my neck line. As I've told you that I use my head circumference to cut my neck. So my head circumference is 23. So I'm going to divide it by 3 inches which will give me 7.6. So for the back neck I'm going to divide 7.6 by 2 which will give me 3.8. I'm going to mark 3.8 for the back neck. Three point eight, and I'm going to mark 1 inches downward for the back drop. And I will draw a curve to connect it together. And for the front neck drop, I'm going to deduct 2 inches from 7.6 7 since when I'm drawing the curve here 2 inches will be added to it automatically so I'm going to mark 5.6 so while curving the neck 2 inches will be added to it automatically So as you can see, this curve will add 2 inches to, it, to the neck drop. So now let's, so let's measure it and see maybe it's equivalent to 7.6 or not. So the backdrop is 3.8 times 2, it gives me 7.6. As you can see, this for the backdrop. And now let's measure the front neck, which is 5.6 here. Now let's measure it here. And let's see, maybe it's equivalent to 7.6. So as you can see, it's equivalent to 7.6. 7.6 exactly so now my shoulder is 17 inches I'm going to divide it by 2 which will gives me 8.5 so I'm going to mark 8.5 here and for my shoulder slope, 
I'm going to divide it. I'm going to divide my chest by 24, which is 36 divided by 24. It will give me 1.5. So I'm going to mark 1.5 for my shoulder drop, shoulder slope rather, and I will connect it to the neck. So next thing is to mark my armhole depth by dividing my chest by four. Which will give me nine. So I'm going to mark nine inches for my shoulder depth. So I'm mark nine inches here. I'm going to connect it to the shoulder line. I'm going to apply my chest measurement which is 36 divided by 4 which is 9 i will mark 9 here and also i'll go to the waist area i'm going to mark 9 there also and also for the hip area i'm going to mark 9 i'm going to find the center of my armhole depth which is 9 uh, 9 which is 4.5 and i'm going to go inward by 1 inches and after that, I'm going to use my French curve to draw the ammo curve. As you can see, if you are making male hoodies or unisex, you make this side seam to straight. But I'm making for female, so I need to make side curve i mean waist curve so i need to come one inches inward in the waist area like this and i'm going to use my front curve for the side uh, for the waist curve of the female as you can see So my brother's pattern is ready, so I just add same allowance there. So and I'm going to cut it out. Please don't don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are new on this channel. And for the returning viewers, thanks for supporting the channel. Now I'm going to make my sleeves pattern. By drawing a straight line here, so after drawing a straight line, I'm going to use 3.5 inches for my sleeve cap sleeve cap height. So and I'm going to apply 9 inches my armhole depth. 9 inches. I'm going to apply it here. So from that 9 inches, I'm going to connect the line the marked area together. And I will draw a straight line to reach the first line I wrote. So after that, I'm going to find the center of the slant line I wrote. So I'm going to mark the center. After marking the center, I'm going to use my French curve. To make the slave curve next thing is to apply my sleeve length which is 24 I'm going to minus 3 inches band from 24 which will remain 21 inches so I'm going to mark 21 inches I'm going to do the same here and I'm going to use 5 inches for my sleeves opening. I'm going to mark 5 inches. I'm going to draw a straight line to connect it together. Now I'm going to use my hip curve to draw the sleeve curve. 
so like this our sleeve is ready so we are going to sketch out the hood firstly i'm going to measure my back neck like this which gives me 4.5 inches so i'm going to mark 4.5 inches and also i'm going to mark i'm going to measure my front neck like this which gives me 7.6 inches so i'm going to start the measurement from the first 4.5 i marked so after that i'm going to connect it together to form a straight line so i will mark the 4.5 and also i'm going to come up by half of an inch like this So I'm going to apply my front neck drop which is 5.6 so from that 5.6 I'm going to minus 1 inches which will give me 4.6 so I'm going to apply the 4.6 here so I'm going to use my front curve to draw a curve from the 4.5 of the back neck and mark and also connect it to the front neck drop I also marked so I'm not going to apply my neck measurement so for the back neck it is 4.5 so i need to apply it because i'm working on a curve line now so from the 4.5 i'm going to measure 7.6 for the front neck also next thing is to measure my hood length so i'm going to take the measurements like this make sure your taper reaches your neck bone so whatever you get you are going to add 3 inches to it so i get 27 plus 3 inches which gives me 30 and i divide it by 2 which gives me 15 so that's why i mark 15 here so after that i'm going to draw a straight line to connect it together and now I'm going to measure my hood depth so I'm going to measure from the first eye to the second eye like this my height to high measurement is 19 inches divided by 2 which gives me 9.5 plus 1 inches of seam allowance which gives me 10.5 that's the reason why I marked 10.5 I added 1 inches seam allowance to it So from the angle of this area, I'm going to mark 1.5 inch, 1.5 inches. So from that 1.5 inches, I'm going, I'm going to draw curve like this because this is how the hoodies looks like. And after that, I'm going to add extra one inches here because the hood is going to overlap each other in the front area like this is going to overlap each other so i need to mark extra one inches and i roll it to connect it together like this so we are done with our hood cutting so we just need to cut it out like this 
remember the actual neck measurement is 23 because i use my head circumference to cut the neck and if you measure the hood now it's going to give me 12 inches which means after i saw in the semi allowance everything will equivalent to 11.5 which is the actual measurement as you can see this is 12 inches regardless of the one inches i had it to it later for the overlap so 11 point 11.5 times 2 will give me 23 inches which is the next size i used so i'm going to cut the hoodies pocket and i'm going to cut it on fold so our cloth measurement is 36 and the front part will be 19 so i'm going to divide i'm going to minus 6 inches from the front part which will gives me 12 and i'm going to divide that 12 by 2 inches because i'm cutting it on food so i marked 6 inches here and also the pocket height will be 10 inches i mark 10 here also and also i'm going to come upward by 3 inches 3.5 inches rather i'm going to mark 3.5 inches here So this is 6 inches and I'm going to deduct 1.5 inches and I'm going to mark 4.5 inches here at the top. So I'm going to use a ruler to connect it together like this. I'm going to connect this area also. So after that I'm going to use my front curve to make the pocket opening curve like this. So after that in this angle i'm going to i'm going to come out by 0.5 inch like this from that 0.5 inch i'm going to roll a slant line like this to connect it together so i'm done with the pocket cutting so i'm going to cut it out So now let's transfer our pattern into the fabric and cut it out. So the fabric I'm using here is cutting material. I'm using cutting material and at least you are going to use two and a half yard for hoodies. So if you are new on this channel, please kindly subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell so that whenever I drop an amazing video like this, you will get notified. And for the returning viewer, I give thanks to you. Thanks for supporting the channel.